Despite Russia's continuing crackdown on gay rights, a small group of activists rallied in Moscow on May the 31st to protest against Putin's anti-gay propaganda laws. It wasn't long, though, before police dragged away two ladies holding rainbow-coloured flags from outside the city's mayoral office to a waiting police van. But it appears the repression of the gay community is spreading from within Russia's borders into Ukraine's Russian-occupied Crimean Peninsula and two easternmost mainland regions. Since Kremlin supported separatists and troops invaded, more reports of homophobic attacks are surfacing. According to an investigation published by website BuzzFeed, the Prime Minister of the self-proclaimed Donetsk People's Republic, Alexander Borodai, has links to a prominent Russian businessman who funds an anti-LGBT propaganda campaign. Same-sex marriages are a criminal offence in the separatist so-called constitution and since many law enforcement officials switched allegiances, most gay people worry about reporting abuse to the authorities. The BuzzFeed report also cited cases of gay people carrying guns for safety and small numbers of people fleeing to the interior of Ukraine due to the higher threat of persecution. Human rights groups often accuse Russia of discriminating against sexual minorities. Last year, a vague law was passed banning the spread of gay propaganda to minors. Bar owners, officials and the LGBT organisations around the world poured Russian vodka down the drain in protest. In January, days before the Sochi Winter Olympics, Russian President Vladimir Putin equated gay people to paedophiles when he said they were welcome to the games as long as they left the children alone. The mayor of Sochi also claimed that there were no gays in the city despite widespread evidence to the contrary. More recently, conservative Russians were outraged after Austrian drag queen Conchita Verst, known as the Bearded Lady, won Eurovision, beating their own entry. Some Russian men shaved their beards in protest. A whole array of rainbow-themed protests have been springing up across Europe in recent months, including Putin with lipstick, a British beer called Hello, My Name is Vladimir, and a specially made advert for the Sochi Olympics on Britain's Channel 4.